Hello and welcome in this tutorial where we will prepare this kinda rounded SED eye popping transition to reveal our videos. It will be simple but it will teach you really cool tricks in After Effects. To get us going I'll go to the project panel and I click on a new composition. I'll create a full HD composition, 30 frames and in the duration I'll select 3 and a dot because 3 seconds will be enough for our animation. This animation will be made of a poly star, so in the rectangle tools panel, click and hold and select the star tool. Go in the middle of the screen, maybe hold the shift key and create a star like that. Don't mind the colors just yet, we can change them later, we'll work with the shape now. Once you have this shape prepared, please open it up, go to content, poly star and we'll work with the poly star pad. In the poly star pad, we will work both with the inner and the outer radius. The inner radius changes this one and the outer radius makes it bigger on the corners. So at the beginning you want to start out with 0. 0 and 0 in the size because this animation will go from the middle and it will slowly reveal to the entire screen. I will place keyframes here. Then with the page down key I will go like 6 or 7 frames forward and I'll slowly start to tinker here. At first I make the outer radius bigger and a bit of the inner radius. I go a few frames forward like to 15 frames or 14 frames and now I work with the inner radius and the outer radius just a tiny bit bigger. I go a few frames forward, I repeat the steps, you can do this the way you like, you can tinker out with both these values until you cover the entire screen. Ok, I think we should stop here, so boom, boom, the entire screen is covered. But this is a really boring animation, this animation would look like that. Well, a simple simple transition, but we can make it more fancy because we are using shape layers. By having this Polystar Pad 1 selected, click on Add and let's add Wiggle Pad. These are effects here we can use and this time we'll use wiggle pads. Wiggle pads appears just under it, so it will influence the layer above it. I'll open up the wiggle pads and of course we need to tinker with the size. You see already something is happening. Let's maybe make the size to 180. We could of course keyframe it to at first be 0, then be 180, but this time I'll go with 180 and with less detail, because the more detail the bigger the effects here, but I want like maybe 4 or 5 here, 4.3 it's ok, and it looks like that. The last thing I want to change is the points, because I wanted it to be more like an acid, liquefied, that's why I select smooth. And this is the animation we have. Let's preview it. Well here is a bit too intense, so I lower down the size so it's not so crazy. Ok, and this is the animation we are achieving. To make it a bit less boring, once again select all keyframes you produced here in the Polystar pad, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Now is the moment where you need to evaluate if the animation is good enough. Let's preview it. Well maybe here it's a bit too fast, here it's a bit too slow, I can take all keyframes, I can shift them around, for example those keyframes I'll place them a bit forward so they don't appear as quick. Ok, this goes a bit slower, well I think this first value could be adjusted a bit. This really depends on how do I want this to look. Let's assume that I'm finished with this animation, this is already ok. I would now close this down. I would duplicate this two times. I take one, I move it forward, I take another one, I move it even further and now I need to simply click and change its colors. Please make sure that you have some colors selected. I will for example if you have Adobe After Effects CC because I know on CS6 this wasn't available but in CC you have extensions and you have Adobe Color Teams. Adobe Color Teams is simply a shortcut to enter Adobe Cooler. And here I will click on explore and I can explore some cool colors. If you don't have any colors pause this video and just select the colors I will use. For example, well I wanted to go with some orange crazy colors but I can't seem to find anything suitable. Well 
let's stay at let's maybe stay at ah oh, can't really find anything suitable maybe this one this one looks interesting it's very toxic so the last one the last one will stay orange the next one i click on the fill let's maybe select a blue one so it will be really heavy for the eye and the last one boom another color from these maybe red maybe orange okay orange i don't want this red this will be too intense and this is the animation you would create last steps you want to make if you want to reveal this video is select everything here right click pre-compose it i will stay with the pre-comp2 name you have this animation here and if you want to reveal the animation with itself click on it click ctrl d move it forward and in the mode section click on silhouette alpha you can hit the second button here if you don't see the mode now watch what happens at first the animation emerges in the screen well let me place this later the animation will play and it will reveal itself i see i have some mistakes here it should be a bit bigger that's no problem we can even do it like that boom and we are prepared the animation flows in and our video could be revealed just like that if you would like to learn more about transitions with me, I have an entire course about transitions in After Effects. You have the discounted $10 links in the description down below or here in the right upper corner in the YouTube cards. You can click on them, check out the course, check out the preview and I'll teach much more details about how to create transitions, how to make templates out of them and overall how to design in After Effects to create usable templates. Thank you very much for your attention. This was my approach on making such a toxic animation.